MCA's 35th anniversary year. Legacy is about something that came before you, and it's about something that's going to come after you. What could be more special? What could be more delicate? What more important to take care of? But legacy requires vision, the vision to see behind and in the future. It requires conviction, the courage of conviction, that is, the courage to stand up and say that something matters, and you're willing to fight for it. It also requires stewardship. It requires the stewardship to see that future generations will, in fact, have that very sacred thing, that legacy. This is what uh, legislators over the years have worked for, who have been most involved in this effort. And that is, even with where the economy is, the fact that the dollars are not what they were a year ago. The bottom line is that 50% of this money goes to the State Arts Board and the Regional Arts Councils, and that's a final bottom line. It is at least 50%. And as far as I'm concerned, as chairman of the Finance Committee, there's no argument about that. We have a legacy to deliver. But tell them what arts are. Tell them what arts education means. Because that's what we're going to be talking about in the next couple of weeks. We need some more definition. Arts education. Legacy. It's ours to form. And we take we take the assignment very, very seriously. And we don't want to make mistakes. Be patient. Communicate with us. Not just the people on the committee. Not just the four of us up here but with all the legislators in the state so that they know that you are vibrant and active and you are watching. Although I think this is absolutely a day to celebrate and be very excited about, it's also a day to go in and make your case again. And so I give that to you because I think that is our continued work. Our continued work is to point out that this is an issue that bridges Minnesotans. Today we're here for Arts Advocacy Day to make sure that we are heard. Even folks that have come off the street, come off di different other things. Uh, we're not the normal crowd that hangs around the Capitol, so this should be a very fun and interesting day for both the legislators and us. This is probably my sixth or seventh, maybe even eighth Arts Advocacy Day I've been coming here. Every single year, hardly missed a year, and it's really, really important. As an arts educator, I'm here to advocate for the arts. Um, as a person who knows how important it is to our community, to our children, to our families, um, I'm here to have my voice heard. We're here to uh, uh, work towards the advocacy of arts in Minnesota. I'm here today to advocate for the arts. I've never done it before, and I'm really interested to go into the state legislature and meeting my legislators and seeing what it's all about. I'm here today because I think, you know, art in Minnesota or anywhere is such an important you know, part of our life. And then what we contribute in the society and the people and the kids, you know, that's something we just cannot take it away. I'm here to support the arts. I work for an economic development uh, nonprofit, and we support the economic development, see it really strongly, that the arts are a really strong force for the economy in the state. I want to say that we're proud to be Minnesotans and be the first state in the union that has arts and culture written into the state constitution as an important part of our quality of life. There, Jen is perfectly well. Really, really fun. We've got a lot of things to work out, and then again, we've got two uncertainties. What's the forecast going to say? What, what, in what areas will the stimulus provide any help? To, you know, what your, what your heart says, and what, what the arts can in fact do. Well, great, 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 great fun. Thank you so much. Thanks for making our job easy. Yes. Legacy is about something that came before you, and it's about something that's going to come after you. What could be more special? What could be more delicate? What more important to take care of? But legacy requires vision, the vision to see behind and in the future. It requires conviction, the courage of conviction, that is, the courage to, to stand up and say that something matters, and you're willing to fight for it. It also requires stewardship. It requires the stewardship to see that future generations will, in fact, have that very sacred thing, that legacy.